Things you must do first, levels. You have to set levels in either a section or an elevation view. So in order to go to that, let's take a look at our project browser. Here's our project browser. You see you've got elevations. Let's just double click on the south view and it'll take us to this view right here. And there we are. Now you don't see much because, well, the CAD file is somewhere over here, but it's in the site plan. All we see is this one rough plane. Now, what we want to do is we actually want to draw some more rough planes in plan, and that will help orient ourselves in elevation. So let's go back to the site plan, so floor plans, double click on site. Let's just draw some reference planes to give us an idea where the boundary of this building is going to be. So if we go to architecture, ref plane, I'm going to zoom right in here and just draw along that plane. And it'll try to snap to that plane anyway. You can always pick the endpoint. The only thing with that is sometimes it's hard to see it after. If I just hit escape twice, I can click on the reference plane and I can drag it, roll back on my mouse, drag it a little farther, and then there it is. I can click on it and drag the other end if I want. And then I'm going to go again to ref plane. Okay, we can zoom in. We're going to go on this line right here, down to there, escape twice, and just pull that out, and then I'm just rolling, drag, roll. If you get really good, you can click and hold on this and zoom roll in and out. And then we can go in like that. And then we can go to our rough plane again and draw this one right here. Now I'm going to trust that it's going to find the correct perpendicular plane. So I'm just going to draw it out like that. And then I'm going to do the other one from there. See right now it's finding the parallel. Perpendicular is probably good. Let's just bring it out to there, hit escape twice. I'm going to type in ZE, no enter, and there we go. Okay, so now what happens if we go into our south elevation? Okay, so now we can see there's at least one reference plane. There we go, so there's the other reference plane. So that right there is the south face of the building, and then that's our zero. So you can see our levels are sort of off a little bit, so we want to just move them over and then set their heights. Okay, so I'm just going to roll in, zoom. Let's just click on level one. So I'm clicking on the line, not on the head. And I'm going to click on this little button right here. See how there's a little circle? It's like an empty circle. I'm just going to click on that, hold, and drag it over to there. I can roll out to zoom and see more. I'm going to do the same on the other end. So I'm going to click there and just drag that over kind of close to that reference plane, and then just zoom out again. And when I'm done, I can hit Escape. Okay, so that provides some levels for my building. Let's go to the north elevation. You can see that there's the extents of the building, there's my levels. So the levels are more than just an annotation. They're like a ref plane, like these things we've been drawing. You can see them from different views. Okay, what about our east and west elevations? Let's go to east. Okay, now I don't know which one is which, which is my building, which is my zero. It all seems fairly close right now, so I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to click on the line of level one, drag it over, and then if I go to west, everything looks to be okay there. Okay, let's edit the ones we have, and then let's add a new one. So this right here is called level one, and then we have a level two. This is the default setting in the template. This is at zero, this is at 10 feet. You can name these anything you want. So if I just double click in level, I'm going to call this main floor, enter. It's going to ask me if I would like to rename corresponding views. Just watch what happens in here to level one when I say yes. See how that changed to main floor? So that's the corresponding view. Level two, double click on that. This is going to be called top T period period, top of, roof, plate. I might just shorten that to PLT. This is a convention. You can decide on that, but this is where the roof is going to be sitting. So once I'm done that, I can just hit enter and again say yes. Now I have a reference sketch that I did just working out where my levels would be. That's really an architectural thing that you're going to be doing in the design of this building. 
You may do it with Revit, you may do it on a sketch paper or in another program, but let's just refer back to that sketch. I've got top of roof plate there, but notice your basement is at negative 12 feet, and that's the top of the basement. So let's put that one in. So let's fix this to say top of roof plate. Yes. And I believe that was at 14 feet. So let's just double click in the level and change this to 14 feet. And we can always click on this and just drag it out a bit farther just to give a little bit space between what's going to be the building and the level. Okay, now we're going to make another level. So let's go to architecture, go over to level, and let's just click on level. I want you to follow with me on this. I'm going to go to the far left side. You see what's happening here? I can't really point at it, but you can see that there's a 12 feet in kind of a ghosted dimension. That's the distance from the previous one. And then you also see a green alignment line. That's good. Okay, we want to click that. So it's a click release. You don't have to click and press. You just click. And then I move it over to the right. And I don't just click it anywhere. I'm going to actually wait until it lines up and locks in with those other ones. And then click. Hit escape twice. And now you can see we've got level 3 at negative 12 feet. Of course, you can click in both of those and change them if need be. So negative 12 feet, we're fine with that. Let's just double click on this one right here and we can call it basement. Would you like to rename corresponding views? Yes. Okay, so now we have main floor, top of roof plate, and basement. This is a good start for levels. This is going to help us define our building. And when we draw or when we model or build our building, it's going to be a lot easier because we have these set points in space that we can draw to. So that's the idea behind levels.